Still in business to tackle the acute housing deficit in Nigeria, the federal government has been taxed to encourage mortgages in the country, especially uh, specifically for the low and middle class. Now, the call was made in Port at a one-way real estate convention. Some of the challenges identified was uh, as facing petitioners and clients, uh, land ownership structure, uh, cookery, uh, tooling, tooling finance, and also mortgage. Already, government has been advised to give the needed attention to the real estate sector as it is capable of contributing positively to the gross domestic product of the country. Yes, the study shows that it's really the, uh, what we will call the middle income people that, uh, and that, that bracket that really need the, the houses. That's where the deficit is, you might say, not in the upper income, just in the middle income and average income. And that is the, if we don't solve it, you can't say you have solved the problem. You need to solve that problem where houses can be uh, can be acquired by ordinary people. And um, I'm grateful to the government. There are policies that they put in place that are working. Uh, they have allowed the pension fund to be, you know, to to play a part in the real estate business. Real estate will not be real estate in its sense if you can't trade with it. The reason why we call it real estate is because you can trade with it. And for you, for you to be able to trade with it is for you to have a registrable and bankable title. So it's a major problem. Um, most states across this country, uh, the Land Use Act is a major factor. And for us to begin to make advancements in real estate development, we need to undergo as a nation the Land Reform Act need itself to go through a surgical procedure. And good thing, the Honorable Minister of Housing is doing so much, and the Honorable Minister of Housing and Urban Development, architect Ahmed Dangiwa, is doing a whole lot in bringing to bear the Land Reform Act of this country, which is something that is going through, uh, it's in the works currently. I guess our government should have to, our government will have to step up and help, because this is really, really a, a pathetic thing. When you go out on the street, you see some people under the, uh, the bridge and the rest. So I, I think if our government can step up and then we can partner with them, because right now we are just an entrepreneur. That's why as a lawyer, I'd advise clients to buy from reputable um, um, real estate companies that can stand the test of time. What we do in such instance, in as much as we try to get our compensation, we look for other properties. That's how we solve this issue, where we move our existing clients to another property while we try to get our compensation from the government. I mean, the mortgage system is not as functional that it would be so helpful to be as helpful as it should be for the industry and then for people who want to buy. So like a more structured financing system, a mortgage system should be well structured. If we have good infrastructure, I mean, if weak infrastructure is some of the things that helps, that doesn't help with the real estate, with, with the real estate dream. So we'd like the government to help with more infrastructure and of course support.